so it's time to decorate I'm a bit late but I'm about to decorate um, I put my tree up last night that is a Z3 and I put Kyan's up in her room she's got a little pink tree that she wanted like a four foot tree I think I think it's four foot yeah four foot tree hi guys <laughs> anyway um, so we need to decorate the tree, put all the decorations around the house and all I'll that decorate some for my tree. Two trees. Yeah. <coughs> Kyan was watching YouTube. That's what's on the telly. Roblox or something. Tycoon on Roblox. Okay, why is it all crumbs all over your face? Not even just round her mouth, you know. All over her face, including around here. Why? Anyway. So I've got quite a few bits to put around. I need to go through them because they've been in my shed. So I don't even know what I've got. I can't even remember. Michael, so so yeah. Pops. This is Lionel from my school. And I got him. Because I'm sick, I get to keep him for a while. Yeah, she's got an ear infection. That's why she's at home. So. Well, I'm lucky. You're not lucky. Who's lucky to have an ear infection? No, Sometimes. I'm lucky to stay home to the Christmas trees. But anyway. So, as you can see, Kyan's tree has been erected and the lights have been put on. So, Kyan needs to just do her decorations now. So, yeah, I'm still searching for stuff. I swear I've got a whole heap of stuff and I can't find it, but. So Kyan has done her tree, she did it herself, very cute, oh sugar, very cute, she nicked my star though, so I don't, I don't think I've got anything for the top of my tree. I love this, look at this. Look at 
Alright. So, we're going to start sorting out the rest of the house. <laughs> Ignore the noise in the background, that's Kai Kai on a tablet. So we've got little Mr. Snowman there and the Mr. Santa Claus. I have been rearranging this room, it's a madness, but I've got my garlands over here, got my little posh reindeer. What else have we got in here? We have a little Merry Christmas wreath with the little acorns, which is cute. The tree. Then, here, yeah, over here, we have a little snowman. I need to get batteries for him because he lights up. I also need to get batteries for my little scene. The train goes round and oh, it's so cute. We got him, little snowman with his Christmas tree. And we've got a garland here. It says, Be merry and bright. And I, these bauble things that I've made, my mum gave me the idea for them. It's brilliant. Then I put this reef here. This is like a little old reef that I've had for a long time. And I put this little chain across. And then on my door, I also have my reef. And then what else is there? Oh, there's this with my mistletoe. Okay, hang in here, that's cute. Don't watch the mess, I'm trying to like sort everything out. So then I've got some fairy lights over here with my Merry Christmas Santa on the window. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'm just gonna keep going around, making sure I got everything out so I can think of what it is that I need. Oh, I forgot to show you my little snowman. Look at my little snowman. He's so cute. He's so cute. And he says, let it snow. But this is really bugging me. So my stereo I had in my kitchen um, because, just because. And I want it, been meaning to move it into here for a while, but, it's like how I had the living room, I had my two massive speakers, these speakers here. You can see that speaker and the other ones over there. I had them either side of the TV stand. But I don't want my stereo on my TV stand. Because obviously it'll obstruct the view to the TV and I don't want the TV mounted on the wall. So now it is unbalance this area and I'm very much a person that likes things to be in like freeze like uh, I like things to be arranged well so for example there is the, the TV unit so the stereo I mean the stereo the what's it called the speaker was there and then the other one was here the obviously the plant was the opposite side so I need to kind of jiggle things around and see how I can make this look a little better, a little bit better. Um, and I feel like I'm missing stuff, you know. Like I need to go back into my shed and make sure I haven't left anything there because I feel like things are missing and it's making me uneasy. So yeah, I'm full of like dust and stuff from where things were in the shed. I need to like wash my hands, and I've got. Oh, one of the um, ornaments were broken. The you know the scene that I showed with the I can't think straight with the train on it. Um, it has a little gate, and the gate had fallen off. So I was using um, super glue to glue it back on, and I got the super glue all over my fingers, and it's irritating me. And now I've got like over my freshly new <laughs> nails I have glitter and super glue all over it but anyway whatever 
all in the name of Christmas. But we've been pumping, pumping, pumping out some Christmas music, trying to get in the mood. And yeah, just decorating, decorating, decorating. I need to go and put like all the boxes and stuff back in the shed so they're not creating a mess in my house. And yeah, I'm gonna probably see what else I need to do and I'll be back. Hi guys, so we are in the spa. We're about to get changed and go in the sauna. So this is one of my birthday treats from my mum. We're at the Hammond Spa. In, uh, it's called Crystal Palace Nails and Beauty, I believe. Um, and it is in Marlebone. So if I can, I'll record what I can. But it's a spa, so. Anyway, I've got to get a little paper. fantastic. That was the best spa ever had in my life. I don't even feel cold now. Mm -mm. Don't even need to do up my coat. This, uh, uh, like, like this, uh, that was fandabby dozy. So we got um, a hammer treatment. Let me tell you something. Yeah. When I say soft, my skin is soft. <laughs> From my head to my feet. I feel like I'm floating. So basically, what they do is you go in there and you lie on um, a marble slab and you can do it in couples, pairs, whatever, um, or on your own. And they basically rinse you in warm water. Once they've rinsed you in the warm water, then they. What do they do for, after that? They do the scrub. No. Do they do the scrub first? They do the scrub first. They do the scrub. So they scrub your entire body, both sides, head to toe, so your face, everything. Then they um, wash you again, rinse you again. Then they, um, what was it? Then they sud you up with their special soap. And it's got oil in it. And it's it got oil well. in it. So it makes your skin so soft. So then once they've done that, they rinse you again. Um, and then you get to choose whether you want a coffee, scr um, a coffee, chocolate or honey, chocolate or honey. Um, what is it called? Um, not a scrub, like a mask. Yeah, body mask. Body mask. So we chose coffee because it's good for um, cellulite and firming your skin or yeah. something. Yeah. So we got that. Let me tell you something. And then you basically lay there for 15 minutes in the in the mask and then they come back and then you go and get showered and changed and then you can leave but yeah i'm so glad they do offer you tea as oh well yeah they offer done. you tea or a drink once you're finished but we're too hungry we need to go and get food <laughs> and i need to get back i've got editing to do and i'm going to a comedy show tonight for my birthday and then i'm probably going to go out after with my girl so yeah, I'll try and take you to the comedy show if I can. Um, I'll try and get some clips. But yeah, see you in a bit. Is everyone looking forward to Christmas? Woo! That's the people with money, innit? People with jobs and shit. Because black people, when we leave the house here, first thing is they hate people touching us, innit? Yep. Yeah. Don't touch me, don't touch me. <laughs> people bounce in into us. No, I couldn't. That's why when we walk street here, yeah, we see somebody that could potentially knock us from long time. Yeah, you know that. Them. Jamaicans in the house, you can. Woo! Zaka 
down to you too. <laughs> That people we've had our holidays for a long minute. You didn't know that. We can't take a short break. We must go away. <laughs> That's why I'm not making up our holiday. We go away. <laughs> <laughs> right? Three flipping weeks. Free. And you call it a holiday. Right? And black people always leave the country thinking that the problems they have here. <laughs> this is health. It's true. While they're away. <laughs> Because all we're thinking about is going back to work. Yeah, you know about that. making life decisions, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> should I buy this brand of coke or should I buy cow's nuts? Who's in the clear? Who's in the clear? This also, right? <laughs> First of all, man, I, I didn't really feel sorry for this African man because his name was Tunde. Tunde was landing in Australia. No. That's the first one. <laughs> Who the fuck you know in Australia? You know that. Who <laughs> uh, do you know? <laughs> the second giveaway this idiot had seven suitcases. Uh -oh. Seven. Do you know how hard it is to pack one? <laughs> he coming to you with seven suitcases. Suspect! <laughs> Then the guy asked him one simple question, right? Excuse me, sir, how long do you plan on staying? This idiot. The weekend. I want to get back after people. We stare at you till you believe it. Hello, everyone. Oh, it's so good. It is officially my 30th birthday. And to top it off, for the first time in 30 years, because yes, I'm 30, it's snowing on my birthday. It's actually snowing. I'm going to try and see if I can get it on. Oh, look at the snow. Look at the snow. You have no idea how excited I am. Like, I'm so excited. Um, obviously you saw that I went out last night to the comedy show and before that I had gone to the spa all for my birthday it was I had an amazing day yesterday it was so 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 good but now I have the treacherous task of going to my mum's I can't drive up there because none of the roads have been iced and I'm not risking it I haven't driven in the snow before um, so I need to walk I need to try and walk to the bus stop and see if the buses are running. If not, boy, looks like these boots were made for walking. But we'll soon find out. But yeah, and this is Cayenne's first time, like, to see proper snow. Like, settled snow. It's never snowed and settled in the whole six years. So, yay, let's go. Don't be stupid. Don't make me drop. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Silly. What's the point? Because I've got my camera out. Get out! No! Ow! <laughs> that hurt, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Just off me right in my in my back. Oh come on! Stop being a girl. What's the point of snow if you can't enjoy it? Yeah, I am. I'm watching you two. You better be throwing that at Nana. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> No, you're not throwing it on me. Don't you dare. Good, that's what you get. I'm a big snowman. So what, Cayenne and my mum made the snowman. You know, thank you whoever put the carrot there. It looks like Olaf. Yeah. That's what he was trying to make. I, I did the eyes and the buttons. Well done. With a stick. Coming down heavier again. Yeah. Yee! Nana. A snowman. Frost. No. Olaf, the snowman. <laughs> He's a very lovely soul. Pity he's going to come to life though. Oh, done well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what she was doing to me. That's not funny. <laughs> That's not funny, it went in my um, headphones. Headphones? What headphones? 
No. Look at the size of it. No, Kai. This is what she's been doing to me. <laughs> Messing up the screen on the camera as well. Alright, I'm gonna play. So, bye. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mom Zora. Happy birthday to you. Hip it. Hooray. Hip it. Hooray. Hip it. Hooray. Yay. I thought the lights were going to come on then. Oh, check the smoke.